Hey, what's up everybody? Eddie here. Welcome back to King's Court. And I know my hair is a mess, but uh, I just finished my workout and this would have been a late upload had I fixed myself up. But this is a sports channel anyway, right? So let's hop right into it. I want to say, I may not be a fan of Giannis, not in the case that I don't like him, but uh, like I... His game just doesn't appeal to me. He is a character. I just saw this video where he was live and he was at a Chick-fil-A drive through and he ordered 50 piece nuggets. And uh, he, uh, he, gave, he asked for consent from the uh, employee at Chick-fil-A if, if she wanted to be recorded. That was funny. His delivery, his uh, politeness, his accent his way of speech it's all pretty funny i think it's uh it speaks to the kind of guy he was uh i think it was in his post game interview uh where they kept asking they being the media keeps asking him about him specifically and he just keeps dropping it off elsewhere like he uh something about him and middleton being teammates and now champions and then he, all he did was yell, oh my god, Chris, we're champions. And then, uh, you know, he just kind of just uh, makes sure the spotlight isn't on him. And it's pretty amazing that uh, a guy like him, you know, with his popularity at age 26, just like me, can do such things. Because, you know, when you're young, you kind of just want the spotlight to yourself. But uh, this guy was grown humble. It's crazy how he came up from, like they said on the broadcast, selling DVDs and CDs at an early age to make money back in Greece before he even, uh, you know, had any basketball uh, aspirations. And for him to come this far, it's amazing. However, so many people are already calling him the best player in the world, the best player in the league. No, man. There's way too many factors to put into the best player in the league. Giannis is no scrub. He's very close to it, but I don't think he's the best player in the league by any means. He got off easy in, uh, I guess, when it came to, to his finals opponent. No one really wanted to see the Suns, like I said. And then the Suns were lucky enough to play every single team before the Bucks with their best players injured albeit it could be one or two guys two in the case of the Clippers right guys anyway that's what I have to say about Giannis being considered the best player in the league he's good I would love him on the Clippers and you know he, he he's an all-star he's a superstar but let's let's tone down with the best player in the league, shall we? And let's advance to the offseason. Why does it keep coming up that Giannis is going to be a warrior? If I recall, he already signed his contract, didn't he? And even if he did or didn't, I'm positive he's still going to come back to play for the Bucks. Because why, why would he leave at this point? He's got a good team. He's got good players. Will they win next year? Who knows? Because a lot of players are going to be able to play next year coming off their injuries. And uh, who knows if some of those teams will be stronger. But a lot of players are coming back. A lot of players will be back. Murray, Leonard, Harden, Irving, James. <whistles> next season is going to be crazy. And it was it was fun while the 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 duos era lasted, and then the Nets just ruined it. The Nets just ruined it, just having to get through the best scorers in the game. You could say that the Nets still have yet to accomplish anything, all you want. But when the team is hundred percent healthy, there's no doubt in my mind these guys are going to be the number one seed. There's no doubt in my mind these guys could win the championship of pure scoring defense isn't as bad as I thought it would have been they were fine playing Bruce Brown at center obviously he's not a, a defensive anchor by any means but the team was doing just fine with him guarding Brooke Lopez 
uh, it's just too many factors to put into this kind of thing so uh, I think next season is going to be a crazy one in if we have all players healthy which is probably an impossibility and you could only hope right on to what I think the NBA should do and it's gonna this is an unpopular opinion or a not a backed up opinion because it's it, it means less basketball I propose the NBA drop the playoff series numbers from seven games to three maybe five a case could be made for five but how about we drop the amount of games that teams would have to play so we have almost any teams playing oh my dog is knocking on the door i was discussing with a friend that a problem with the nba nowadays is you always get the dominant team winning and i agree it's it's so frustrating to see the best team always win it but on paper the best team on paper to win i understand that it would destroy you know stats it would destroy uh playoff totals for players and i guess teams too if you're into that kind of stuff but if it means a better playoff experience i would back it up i'm okay with having best of three best of five of course like i said it means less basketball but uh but hear me out every minute is is way more crucial fans are going to be way more engaged let's let's be real somewhere between game two three and sometimes four people just lose interest especially when the series is already three zero no one wants to watch game four uh and i think it would benefit the league and benefit for viewership if they just drop the series numbers i don't like the idea in some ways because obviously Clippers were down 2-0 in two series this season this play, this postseason so it obviously wouldn't help too much for a, a fan of me of the Clippers uh, uh, me as a fan of the Clippers so it puts more pressure on the coaches players and you know it kind of makes them just take care of business really early no feel out if you're going to do a feel out game it's got to turn into one quarter the first or second i suppose it's it's all about trial and error you know a lot of teams throw away a game or two in the clippers case and then they just decide to make the necessary adjustments to win games and it's no it's not a bad strategy it's just you, you tax the players so much and they can only take up so much anyway. So here's what I propose on a big picture. Keep the season at 82 games. That's okay. Let's keep it that way. Uh, I'm okay with an 82 season, uh, 82 game season. Playoffs, shrink it. 16 games total. Well, I guess minimum. Uh, let's shrink that number especially because playoff basketball is way more brutal than season basketball there's a lot less rest there's a lot less time to no i guess uh cool off from a playoff game but what do you guys think am i onto something or am i just crazy I think I'm onto something because, well, the players will get necessary rest. The season will still be long. You'll have plenty of uh, opportunities to go watch a game. And you still end up having basketball be good. You'll just have less of it. And like I said, it's not a bad thing, especially if the basketball is going to be good. I, for one, don't want to watch basketball if the game is meaningless. For example, a 3-0 series lead. In some cases, a 2-0 series lead. I don't want to watch those blowouts. Might as well just keep uh, keep those numbers. Uh, might as well just whoa. Might as well just move on and just have 
the team that went up 2-0 just advanced to the next round. It makes sense in so many ways. I think it made the most sense this past season with so many injuries. But hopefully this word gets out there and hopefully the NBA considers this kind of thing. Especially now given that talent is so, so wide. There's so many players that can do so many things. So many different sizes and built. But let's make the quality... Let's make basketball a better quality when it comes to the playoffs. And let's make sure all superstars get to play in them. That way we could crown the champion that's the best performer in the the, the most narrow situations. Because otherwise, a, game, a series of seven, the more healthier team and obviously the better team on paper will always win. Those are my thoughts, guys. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Like, share, and subscribe to this video. And uh, help my channel grow. Let's beat the algorithm and uh, get my name out there. I'm looking for a hosting job. So let's see if this, uh, this YouTube channel takes off and lands me a spot in, let's say, Fox. I hope Fox is watching. Or, I guess, what are they now? Bally's Sports? Anyway, I've carried on long enough. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. And thanks for listening.